All order has been restored in Gilanor. There is no longer any evil in the world, and all actions have been corrected. I have been granted redemption by a higher power. I have been gifted a second chance at life. I will do better. I will be better. The skills tab shall remain unaffected from leveling two skills once more. The purge from leveling two skills simultaneously has been corrected. No more errors shall be remade. Because this is 99 one at a time. Yo, g'day guys, what's going on? 99 one at a time here, bringing you the first episode of Strength. I'm sure everyone knows the story of how I got level 2 Strength. Uh, that was done while I was doing hit points. Yeah, yeah, failed account. Whatever! We are going to be starting Strength now. We're going to jump straight into it. The best way to start training Strength is just by doing a few quests. So we're going to knock out a few quests right now, unlock a few items that are going to help us later on in Strength. I really want to thank everybody for the suggestions on the last video of how I should train Strength. There were a few really amazing suggestions that I hadn't even thought of or hadn't even heard of before. One being using the Dark Light to train Strength. Uh, and I can get the Dark Light. It's just locked behind a few quests. Anyway, the first quest we are going to do is Scorpion Catcher. This will get us 6.6k XP. Currently caught all three of the Scorpions. As soon as I hand this in, I'm probably going to get to like level 10, level 15 strength, which is, you know, a nice boost to start off the series with. Although, once I level this, and yeah, I know it's already been leveled, but once I level this to level 3, we are locked in to do strength with one attack and one defense all the way until level 99. This is gonna be a very long task. I'm gonna max at about 30k strength XP per hour, and that's probably gonna be like the absolute max. It's gonna take over 400 hours of training strength to get to level 99. There we go, holy moly. One quest point, 6.6k strength XP, and straight to level 23 strength. That is a nice boost. We also managed to get over 1,700 total level. We are so close to them 1,750 worlds. I can feel it. And our combat level is going to stay the same until we are level 99 strength. We are going to stay level 85 combat this whole entire time. Anyway, level 23 strength. No turning back now. Everyone wish me luck. In the famous words of Ariana Grande, thank you, thank you. we are gonna jump into another quest. We are gonna do, I reckon, Horror from the Deep. Die, bitch. Die, bitch. Please don't swap before I kill you. Oh my god, are you joking? I can't do damage on him now until he goes back to green. Oh, please don't regen. Game over. Look at that. 4,600 XP in ranged, magic, and strength, along with two quest points, which is nice. We are currently, let's go level 30 strength? 28, Whoa, not that good. Still, very nice. That's 28 strength, I've had to do nothing yet. I've just been questing. And now this was pretty much the main reason behind doing Horror from the Deep. We definitely did do it because we got the strength XP as well, but this was needed to complete the Book of War, which gives me an extra plus two strength bonus in my offhand weapon. So uh, I need to go by all the Bendis pages now, and then I'll have the Book of War, which is going to help me quite a bit in our, in our grind to level 99 strength. We just completed our Book of War for a grand total price of like 35k. That is much worth. There we go, the Book of War. And as you can see, it has a melee strength bonus of plus two and plus five prayer, which is nice. Now, everyone seems to think that the croziers actually give a bit of strength bonus. Holy moly, they do. Wow. God, I'm happy a lot of people suggested that. I wouldn't have known that otherwise. That's going to be way better than the machete. Although I'm not sure it's going to be better than the dark light. But that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to test the best weapon for me to use on the way to level 99. The next quest we're going to do is one that doesn't give us any strength XP as a reward. It is going to be 
Demon Slayer, we need to do this quest to be able to unlock the Dark Light. So it's just a prerequisite quest. Free GP. Oh, that's not too bad at all. 200k. Dragon Imps finally coming in with the goods. Hey, hey, Silverlight. Now to go kill the demon. Oh, this actually feels wrong training Malay. <laughs> I've gone so long without training it that this actually does not feel right. I feel like I'm I'm ruining the account further. Anyway, it's gotta be done. 99 strength. I'm coming for you, baby. Da bitch. There we go. Demon Slayer done. Did I level any skills? I didn't mean to. No, I didn't. Three quest points and a silver light. That is pro. We are still two quests away from the dark light though. So I think we might have to do the golem next. And then after that we can do Shadow of the Storm. And that'll get us our dark light. Level 30 strength. Noise. Just spending some time AFKing in between quests. Level 35 strength. Currently getting about 9k XP per hour here. It can be more, it can be up at about 13k per hour. Just really depends how attentive one of these guys are to fix it. So I can keep getting my XP. Well, this feels like a waste. 370 strength XP. Oh, I got a level, level 38. All right, the golem is completed. 1000 crafting, 1000 thieving. Everything is still in order. That means now we should be able to do Shadow of the Storm. Beautiful. Requirements have been unlocked. We can start Shadow of the Storm. And he's dead. Die, bitch. Uh, obviously, we're going to put it into strength. Level 38 to level 40. Not bad. 40 strength. We now officially have the Dark Light. It is no longer the Silver Light. So this is going to be pretty much our best in slot weapon. We're training from, well, I guess it's... 40 now to level 99 strength so just going off the stats obviously the crozier has way more malay strength bonus you know and it's got an extra 19 but the attack bonuses are a little bit better for the dark light i believe nope that's a lie crozier is better either way we're still going to check out the damage for both weapons and see what's going to give us better dps and dps is equivalent to xp per hour this boss fight is actually stupid with one defense. Constantly getting trained by all these minecarts and shit. Just die already. Beautiful. He's dead. Got the key. Let's go get our strength XP. Woo. Haunted Mine is finished. Two quest points. Access to Time Slayer and 22,000 strength XP, which puts us from level 40 to level... 45. Oh, that's nice. 69 <laughs> quest points. How good's that? And we have the salve amulet. Not that we'll use it, but it's still a nice item to have. Well, that's all the quests done that I wanted to do, and we finished up on 45 strength. Quickly imbuing a warrior's ring. Now, I have taken in everyone's suggestions on weapons and items to use to help maximize the strength XP per hour that I can get on this account. So a few people have said Warrior's Ring over Berserker Ring, so I'm going to give that a crack. A few people have said Wolfbane, Darklight, Machete, Event RPG, and, you know, a lot have said Crozier. And if I quickly just go all through all these again, judging by the stat difference, the Crozier seems to be the best in slot by far. So I'll just quickly flick through all these, and you can probably just have a look for yourself, and you'll be able to see that the Crozier is the more superior weapon on the stats page by far. So we're still gonna test all these out and we're still gonna see what's the best XP per hour. I honestly think it's just gonna be the Crozier just going off the stats, but you never know, we could get more XP with any other one of these weapons. Level 50 strength, 10 more levels until we can use the Obby Mole. That's also 100K strength XP, damn. Level 55 strength, 7 levels away from 1750 Total Worlds, and 5 levels from the Obby Mole. The big level 60 strength, 2 levels away from 1750 Total Worlds, which is going to be so sick. We can now use our Obby Mole. I wonder how much this is going to hit. Probably nothing. Whoa, 19 first hit. OP. Woo, 1750 Total Level. Oh, and uh, 62 strength, obviously. I can go in the 1750 worlds. There should be never anyone at Rock Crabs, never anyone at Ammonite Crabs. 
and uh, hopefully this makes AFKing strength a lot easier. Let's enter our first 1750 title. Even though these worlds are pretty packed these days, everyone seems to have 1750 title, but I think it's great. What an accomplishment for this account. Outstanding. Figured I'd better start doing some organized crime if I really want good XP per hour. Hmm, only 1400 strength XP each at the moment. It's probably not really worth it. I mean, Ammonite Crabs, I think I can get about 20, 25k XP an hour just with Obi Mole at the moment. So I'm pretty sure that's better, but I'm gonna stick this out for a tiny bit longer. Bowling in training manuals here. All right, guys, gonna end the video there. We have a 62 strength. Yeah, only 360k XP, but that's gonna go up a ton very, very shortly. 1750 total level, a massive, massive accomplishment on the account. And I'm pretty sure we're still at 69 quest points. That's gonna stay there until we finish strength. Unless there's a quest that gives strength XP that I've missed, but I don't think I have. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you all watching to the end, and I'll see you in the next episode. See you around like a quarter pound.